It's, uh, do you know what? That, my forehead's getting bigger, isn't it? Either that or it's just I've got no eyebrows and it makes it look, I think I'm receding, you know. I think that's what it is, isn't it? I, maybe, I look like one of them T-fell guys. Anyway, what was it? I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing that for. Anyway, I'm here today because we've got the extra mile book, which I said I'm gonna try and get through every page of this book, because there's some really, really nice places to eat in this book. I'm not sponsored by them. I will put the link in the description down below though. Uh, it's something different, and we're gonna to go to a place called The Cow Shed today, which is uh, near Ilkeston. Now, let me read you a little bit about this book, because this is where we're going. In fact, I did a little research online as well, and uh, somebody from Coronation Street went along and had uh, breakfast with them or had something to eat with them. Listen to this, it sounds really nice. Sometimes you're cruising along a rural country road and come across a hive of activity. Who are these contented looking people? Where have they come from? In this case, the cowshed tea room is the answer. Food maestros Nikki and Fiona are members of the local Sisson family. The chatty two run and market this buzzing countryside cafe while their partners build things, dig things and look after cows. Uh, this is a farm diversification at its best, a team effort that really works. A former cow shed wrapped in a decked balcony, this brick built cafe is a family and dog friendly and attracts cyclists too, who famously know where to find the best caffeine and cake for miles. Take your food out uh, to the sail shaped terrace overlooking mini conifers, scented planters and the mature soft fruit trees of sloping gardens. Birds caw and leaves rustle. Do you know what? It sounds absolutely fantastic. Now normally uh, if I was going and I wasn't filming it I would have like avocado and poached egg on toast. However yes we're going to go for another breakfast because you can see what it looks like compared to one of the other breakfasts. Um, so that's what I've got to go for really. I was going to take Paige with me and my daughter today but she's busy so you've just got me. It's solo today I'm uh, flying solo anyway if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos now without further ado my friends let's go Now then, here's a question for you. Full English breakfasts or fry-ups, are they becoming a thing of the past really? Because they seem fairly popular on this channel uh, and every time I put a video out about a full English breakfast, it seems to get good views. So from that, you'd think that, well, it, it, it isn't fading away and it's still really, really popular. However, on the flip side, as I say, when I'm off camera, I kind of go for avocado, crushed avocado and poached egg on toast. And that's because of my girlfriend, Sarah. She's got me into that. That's what she likes. She doesn't like a full English breakfast. However, I just, I just think it's going down that route. What do you think? Maybe you don't like squashed avocados and poached egg. I, I think it's a, a little bit pretentious, to be honest. Um, but then again, I like it, so I can't moan about it, and it makes a difference to a full English breakfast. But the fry up, the full English breakfast, it's what England used to be about. It's, it's what set you up for the day, isn't it? Builders had it. They got up, they had a mug of tea, they had a full English breakfast, and then they went to lay some bricks or go down the mine. It's what set, it's what made England and Britain great, isn't it? But is it fading away? Let me know in the comments section down below. I mean, there won't be much content for this channel if it does. Anyway, come on, onwards. You know, saying that though, there are different kind of breakfasts, aren't there? Because there are fry-ups, like a proper greasy fry-up. But then there's the really nice breakfast that you get at places like this, at farm shops, etc., and tea rooms. And it's not a greasy fry up. It's nice. Couple of nice butcher's sausages, nice bit of bacon, some nice sourdough bread, cherry tomatoes, things like that, rather than the fry up. And I like that. That does have its place. 
But I also like a fry up as well. It depends what kind of mood I'm in and whether you've been out on a bender or not, doesn't it? And then you then you need a proper fry up. But places like this, it's not totally unhealthy. It doesn't, it, it isn't as bad as a, a proper fry up with fried bread on it and stuff like that. This is like nice, a few nice little, I mean, I haven't had this one, but places like these farm shops with nice little potatoes on, etc. That is a nice breakfast and that does set you up for the day. And that's the kind of breakfast I like, really. A fry up does have its place, but these places, I love them and they're off the beaten track. And that's what I like this book for. I saw it, I never buy books. And I thought, wow, I'm having this book because that shows you all these different places that are off the beaten track that people don't know about. Little gems, hidden little gems. If you fancy game, as I say, I'm not sponsored by these guys. I don't know who they are. Um, but if you fancy getting a copy of it yourself and you want to go to different places, it's going to take me a while to get through them. Maybe you to get you go to some of them. Let me know what they're like. Message me and uh, comment on the videos and say, oh, I went to this one in the book. Uh, get over there and uh, review it yourself. It'll help me out because there's hundreds in there. Anyway, come on, onwards. Roadworks, traffic jam. I tell you what though, I'm looking at the people working on the road there and I can guarantee you, right, because they're digging up the road, it's putting in another bike lane probably, um, and I can guarantee you that this morning, right, those workmen have had a full English breakfast or a fry up because I can't imagine them, I can't see them going to work on avocado and poached egg on a piece of sourdough toast. However, I like it, but you know, I'm not a, I don't dig up roads, I make videos about breakfast and, f and fish and chips but you know what i mean it it, set, it does set you up for the day doesn't it anyway i would say onwards but we can't go anywhere come on Now, this place that we're going to today is not far from, now I nearly said, not far from Nottingham, but you're gonna get people uh, in Derby saying, actually, it's closer to Derby or whatever. So in the comment section down below, you can let me know yourself. It's, it's in a place called Ilkeston, I believe, which is uh, pronounced by the locals, Ilson. Uh, so anyway, but it's, it's off the junction of the motorway. I think it's junction, I'll let you know when we get there because I'm following the sat-nav at the moment. Now, the reason I'm going for breakfast here is because today uh, I was going to go to Neil Morris's place and film there, Neil Morris from Men Behaving Badly, and go to his pub uh, and have fish and chips with Neil Morrissey. But I'm going to do that tomorrow now because I've got an electric bike being delivered to me that somebody wants me to review. I get, le I get inundated with stuff that people send me. Uh, and I, I saw this electric bike, I thought, oh, I like electric bikes, I'll give it a go, so I'm going to give that a review uh, in a little bit as well. Also, by the way, because I have these different things being sent me, uh, and I did the ruler thing at the start of the video with my forehead, interestingly enough, I had a hair restoration place email me and said, if you do a vlog on our business, a video on our business on your YouTube channel, we'll give you a hair transplant. And I looked and I thought, I don't think so. I can tell you what, if it goes much further back, it'll just get shaved off. Not into all that stuff. Forget about that. Right, come on, onwards my friends. So it's junction 25 uh, of the M1 onto the A52 that we've got to take. So, and it does say Nottingham and Derby. So uh, 
it's kind of in between both really so we're going to uh, take that one i tell you what i have got I, I love places like this because again it's a family-owned business and it helps them out hopefully uh, well i'm hoping it's good <laughs> otherwise i'm gonna have to tell the truth and say it isn't but I, i'm i've done my research and it looks absolutely gorgeous and i reckon personally for me on a proper breakfast whether it's a full english or a fry up the main ingredient for me might be different for you is the sausage never cut back on the sausage never cut back on the sausage and that's where when you get your cheap catering sausages it kind of ruins it they do have their place for a cheap breakfast but i'd rather pay a little bit more and have a proper butcher's sausage you know i've said it a million times the old grange hill bent sausage and i prefer that i'd rather pay a little bit more a couple of quid more because it makes it for me that's what makes it the bacon I'm not a massive bacon fan, you know, it adds to it, but it's all about the sausage, isn't it? What do you reckon? Pop it in the comment section down below, you know the score. Well, funnily enough, we've just crossed over into Derbyshire, so it's Ilkester, I think Ilkester might be Derbyshire. Do you know what? It'll say it's in that book, I guess, won't it? But it's kind of, it's like East Midlands Airport. I always say Nottingham East Midlands Airport. Now, Nottingham East Midlands Airport, there's something about that. This has nothing to do with the cow shed, by the way. But there's something about Nottingham East Midlands Airport. It's got a, is it, it's in Leicestershire, got a Derbyshire postcode, but something to do with what closer to Nottingham or some, something like that. Pop it in the comment section down below, but it's basically, it's confusing because it's on that border. I can tell you what though, it's not in Yorkshire, eh? Yorkshire, <laughs> come on. You know what? We're almost here now. And I'm moaning. I'm going, I'm going, bloody heck, there's tractors, there's horses. I'm down a narrow lane. What's going on here? It's a bit of a giveaway, really, isn't it? It's called the cow shed. It's in the middle of the English countryside, obviously. But it is absolutely gorgeous around here. And it is a wonderful day today. We're going to have a nice day. So you can sit outside as well. So I'm really looking forward to this. What a beautiful part of the country oh no cow poo or horse poo i've just rolled over i've just had my car washed anyway here we are the cow shed wow it's absolutely gorgeous here right let's park up turn this milk float off and get in there and uh, mark this out of 10 come on Before we look around the cow shed and go and get breakfast there's actually a tea rooms here as well which is absolutely amazing you can book this for afternoon tea it is fantastic just have a, hello just have a quick just have a quick look my friends <laughs>
Right, my <laughs> friends, it is. It's, it's amazing in there anyway. Take, let's get into the cow shed, come on. Right, my friends, so I am going to order the farmer's breakfast, which is two sausages, two bacon, two eggs, two hash browns, mushrooms, beans, tomatoes, and toast, which comes to a total of £13.50 for that. I'm also gonna go for a latte as well. Yeah, I'm always in that kind of, do I have a latte or do I have a cup of tea? But I need a coffee first thing in the morning. But really, it should be tea, shouldn't it, with uh, full English, but I'm gonna go off piece today, and I'm gonna go for a latte. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Right my friends, so I have ordered, even got a little homemade biscuit there as well, um, which is nice, a nice little touch. Got the latte there as well. Got tractors in the background, which is nice. Beautiful summer's day as well. Got the fields, the rolling hills. It really is nice. Let's try this homemade biscuit. I'm just looking at the tractor there. It's brilliant, isn't it? Hang on. Oh, that is amazing. Tell you what though, for the electric car EV owners out there that watch me because of the EV videos, that tractor, when are they gonna go, ele when are they gonna go electric, eh? I've not seen an EV tractor just yet. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a minute. Hmm, could do with another one of them. Right, my friends, so we've got the breakfast here. You can tell immediately that it is quality produce. The sausages look good. Uh, bacon looks excellent. Uh, nice bit of toast there as well. Got the two eggs on there as well. Uh, I would have whitened them over the top, but I didn't. I forgot to ask her about that. Some people do actually like them yellow. I like mine white over the top, but I'm gonna go for it, and they look very nice as well. Uh, they're all, it's all local produce from around here and from here as well, so I'm gonna ask them actually. Uh, and find out whether it's actually from this farm, which would be interesting. So uh, beans look good, little ramekin there, which is con controversial, but you know, it does keep them warm and it also separates them from the eggs as well, which I've said before. For me though, right, we've got the HP sauce here and we've got it in a proper glass bottle, which I like. It's proper old school, like I used to have when I was at my mum's, rather than them squeegee bottles. A proper bottle of HP there as well. So before we go any further, my friends, take a closer look. So there you go, it looks absolutely excellent. Just very quickly, we've got Paige here, uh, who works, you work here. Can I ask you a question? 
produce on here? Is it all locally sourced? It is, yeah. It is? Excellent. Yeah. So we've got local butcher's sausage on there, as I can see, all quality. So everything's from... Uh, is it, are we in Derbyshire? Or, or yeah, we're in Derbyshire, we're in, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> controversial, that, you see, whether we're in Derbyshire or Nottinghamshire. But, um, sort of halfway in between. Halfway in between. Yeah. Excellent. So all locally sourced stuff. That is great. The locally sourced produce, I should say, not stuff. You can tell I'm from Mansfield. Anyway, I'm going to tuck into this. <laughs> friends the moment of truth here we go right got a wasp there go on get off you're not having any of this sausage so here we go got the sausage here uh, actually this one got a good bend in it little bend in there there we go proper sausage that butcher's sausage let's go in for this my favorite part of the breakfast this this is what makes the breakfast just look at that done to perfection mm. yeah <clears throat> that's made it for me wow I knew you, were gonna, you knew I was going to say that wow oh absolutely gorgeous that is what makes it for me got all the mushrooms here nice quality mushrooms not one pretentious portobello as I normally don't like there we go nice mushroom mmm that is nice it puts me off when you get the big portobello mushroom with all the underneath of it that is perfect tastes wonderful i'm gonna go in for the tomatoes now and i've said before these you have to have fresh tomatoes on this kind of breakfast because it's not a fry up in a trucker's diner or whatever and there's nothing wrong with a fry up in a trucker's diner it's just a different type of breakfast this is a quality breakfast and that is cooked through to perfection because what I don't like is when you get the tomatoes and they're not cooked properly they're still hard that is perfect got the hash browns on here here we go get out of it go on we got the hash browns on here not too greasy nice and fluffy on the inner there it's beautiful, it's absolutely gorgeous around here. And then we're gonna go for the beans now. Go for the bean test, good consistency there. There we go. And still piping hot, uh, even though I've been doing the B-roll footage there because they're in the ramekin, so it keeps them hot, you see. Nice beans. Right, gonna go for, what should we go for now? Bacon, that's a little bit of the bacon there. Not, not a lot of fat on the bacon, which is good. Let's just taste this. Sometimes bacon can be a little bit too salty. This is nice and it's done perfectly. Mmm. That's nice. Not greasy. Perfect. Right, I'm gonna cut into the egg. Even though it's yellow, it's not snotty, that's good. That is excellent. So I'm happy with that. As I say, I would have had it white over the top and I said to her after and she says, oh, well, we could have done that for you. Some people like it different ways, but I didn't ask because um, I was busy filming, but there we go. Um, this is fantastic. Right, I'm going to eat the rest of it, mark it out of 10 and then come back to you and I'll see you in a minute. Mmm, <laughs> those sausages, fantastic.
Right, my friends, well, <clears throat> that was absolutely first class, I've got to tell you. Let's take a drink of my coffee. Wow, that coffee's lovely. Still got a piece of toast there because uh, I'm going to enjoy that separately because normally that's not the kind of bread that I'd go for. However, that's some of the tastiest bread that I've had in a long while, so I'm going to uh, enjoy that separately. Uh, really, really nice bread. Um, I'm going to have to ask, ask them whether they make bake that in-house, I'm not sure. You can have a look on the website. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get into the breakfast. The sausages themselves were amazing, really, really tasty. And as I say, that's what makes the breakfast for me. Um, I, I could have had uh, a plate full of them sausages, to be fair, they were really nice. Um, the bacon, excellent. Uh, the eggs, as I say, I would have whitened them over the top, but they says, well, you should you just ask us you know, would have done that for you. Um, saying that though, not snotty at all, really nice, thoroughly enjoyed the eggs. Everything uh, is locally sourced from around here as well. Don't forget, it is a local business as well. Uh, beans, uh, nice consistency, good taste. Um, I wouldn't know whether they were Heinz or not, to be honest. I did a bean test once and uh, I think I said Aldi came out best for me or whatever. Tomatoes cooked to perfection. Mushrooms, very tasty mushrooms. Uh, so I have to say, the the place is amazing. You've got birds singing, you've got literally fields over there, tractors in the field, rolling hills. You've got the English countryside that you sat out in. It is fantastic the staff here really really friendly again as i say family business i'm going to go through the bill now it's 16 pounds 80 in total there farmer's breakfast 13 pounds 50 and then your latte which was three pounds 30 so 16 80 in total and that is for a quality breakfast in this location as well really really nice for me if you want to have a good treat and you want a day out, pop down here. I'll pop their website in the description down below. Uh, as I, I always say, they never know that I'm coming here. I just turn up unannounced because otherwise, it's, I, like, I, like, I like the element of surprise. Anyway, for me, let's get it marked. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with a ten, to be honest, because it deserves it. The, the location itself is just brilliant. Really, really nice. Uh, if you don't want a full English to do other food as well, as you've seen on the menu there earlier on, uh, pop along. Let me know what you think. Maybe you've been. If you haven't, pop down. Pop it in the comments and uh, you mark it out of 10 for yourself. Thanks for watching. I'm going to have this bread now, this toast, because I say, that for me, I want to say that's some of the tastiest toast that I've had in a long while. Really nice. Um, coffee's excellent. Great ambiance. 10 all day every day uh, so there we go and it deserves it with that produce that's all from me today thanks for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button wasp make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little bell for notifications and give us a thumbs up before you leave and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye